Hey y'all, welcome to Shumpert's Hill. Today I have some delicious looking cube steak. And so I thought I would, um, I've been wanting some so bad y'all. So I thought I would bring y'all along and show you how I make my, my healthy version of cube steak and gravy. Okay, so I'm starting out with my um, skillet. I've got two heapings um, of baking fat, but you can use any kind of oil you want to. I wouldn't recommend butter though, not on, on this pie like this unless you're going to cook it you know kind of slow which right now i am i have mine on medium my heat on medium so it can be melting the butter and i'm going to take you over and show you what i'm going to be doing all right i'm going to start with two eggs and i'm just gonna beat them real good And then I have some heavy cream. I'm just gonna pour about a half a cup in there. Beat that real good together. I got some black pepper and I'm just gonna put in black pepper to my taste because you may like a lot of black pepper or you may like a little black pepper, but at least you got some black pepper in there. And so we just mix that really good. So I take a half a bag of pork rinds and I put them in my food processor and grind them up. Now you might want to make sure, cause like that's a big piece and it's a hard piece. I'm just gonna take that out. You just wanna try to get them as, as fine as you can. All right, I've got some garlic powder here. I'm gonna put about a um, teaspoon of that in here. I can put it, you can put it in either mixture you want to. It doesn't matter, I can divide it up if I want to. I've got a teaspoon of paprika here. And again, just divide it if I want. Teaspoon of onion powder. So I'm just gonna use about a half a teaspoon of salt because I don't really want a ton of salt in it. And because of the health benefits of turmeric, I'm gonna put about a half a teaspoon. Turmeric is good for inflammation if you have um, some hurting anywhere. Like I've got my knee right now, so I'm taking um, some turmeric. So that's a good little thing to know to help you. All right, just grab a fork and just mix all this together. And I'm gonna use my fork here and continue to mix this together. So I've got my cube steak. I'm just gonna dip it in my egg and milk mixture, heavy cream. And I'm just gonna pour it right here. And you know, it didn't, I don't have to have it on every little piece of crumb. I just wanna get the taste of it on my meat. And so I'm gonna stick it in my hot baking grease. I know it's not a pretty thing. You can use forks if you want to, y'all. I'm from an old kitchen, old timey kitchen, and we use fingers for everything. So I can't help it. That's just the way I was raised. We're gonna brown this up, and then we'll get this other piece in there when we get a chance. And once it's browned up, I'll, I'll show you a little bit when I go to flip it what it looks like. Okay. Okay, I got it flipped. I don't know if you can. Um, See it, I flipped this side, I just got that one in, and so um, I'm just letting it slowly cook, and then I will take it out and show you what else I'm gonna do. Okay, I've got about a cup of water here, and I've got um, some better than bouillon, and I'm just gonna take about a teaspoon of this and just kind of stir it in here and dissolve it, and then I'm gonna add a little more water to it. I've got about four cups of better than bouillon mixed in some water. If you wanted to, you could um, just use broth, uh, beef broth or chicken broth or something like that. Um, I don't have any hand on hand, so that's why I'm using this. 
Okay, I'm just going to add some pepper to this. Again, that's up to you what you like, if you want a little pepper or no pepper. Of course, I'm going to add some salt to my gravy because um, I want some flavor about it and probably about a teaspoon of that. Now, if you want to add, again, more seasonings to it, you can. But since I've got my meat seasoned, I'm not really worried about it. At this point, I'm going to add maybe a fourth a cup of, of heavy cream. And I'm going to use almond milk, but you want to make sure you get the original almond milk. Do not use almond milk that has vanilla flavoring because it will not be good. And maybe, maybe a half a cup to a cup, whatever, it's according to how much gravy you want. Okay, I've turned my eye up to um, uh, high, and I've got about a half a teaspoon of xanthan gum on my sp spoon. And what I'm going to do is start putting a little bit in and stir as I go, so I won't get clumps, because that wouldn't be good. Got that too much that time, didn't I? <laughs> get some off this side over here. Still got a little clumping in there, so I want to try to get that out. That looks delicious, doesn't it? <laughs> now, I didn't cook my meat all the way through. I just um, tried to brown it some. And as you can tell, just like flour sometimes, <laughs> those crumbs come off. And so at this point, I'm just going to cook I'm going to bring this to a good boil, and this is going to cook a while. And I like to get all those crumbs in there with that. I see it's coming to a boil now. I'll just take my fork and just kind of stir it around a little bit. Okay, that's coming to a good boil. Can hear it. All right. So while that's coming to a good boil, I'm going to put my lid on. I'm going to cut this thing down to about a four on mine. Mine goes from low to high, which is one to nine. And I'm going to put mine down on four and just kind of keep an eye on it, make sure it doesn't stick. And I'm going to let it cook for a couple hours. So just keep an eye on it. If it starts to look like it's going to stick or there's not enough liquid in it, you can always add just a little more water or almond milk to it and I'll let it cook. I just wanted to show you what the um, gravy and the cube steak was looking like with the pork rinds. It smells good in here. Just going to let it keep cooking. Okay, y'all, there is the uh, cube steak and the gravy with the um, pork rinds and um, some seasonings and the cube steak. Um, very easy to throw together and it's delicious. Um, you could put it with any kind of vegetable you want to, um, or you could eat it with a little bit of brown rice, but um, I'd still be careful because it is um, a low carb type meal. So. All right, y'all, we are here with the um, cube steak. Daniel's had this before. But I'm going to let him taste it for y'all. Is it tender? Mm -hmm. Good. I can't stand tough meat. <laughs> you know what that movie is, right? Yeah. He's going to hit us if we don't move back, y'all. I'm going to step back. So that's our, our supper tonight is Salisbury steak. I mean, cube steak and butternut squash. So y'all be seeing those videos back to back. Uh, see, he couldn't help himself. <laughs> Y'all take care. Bye. God bless.